Hey everyone, today we're going to be replacing the cartridge on an old Moen faucet here in a utility sink. Uh, this is a model 7300. Uh, they call it the Legend series of faucet because it's been getting harder to turn on and off. This faucet uses the 1225B cartridge. Uh, first thing, of course, is to shut off the water to either your house or to the faucet itself if you can. Turn on the faucet just to drain out any of the water. And just note this may take several minutes for the water to drain, especially when the faucet is in the basement at the lowest spot in the house like this. I'm off, but this is the disc style cap. And so I'm just going to take a very small flat bladed screwdriver and work that in like that. And that's going to pop off the cap. The next step is we're going to take this screw out while we're holding on like this and set that to the side. Now we're going to remove the faucet handle itself, but to make things easier uh, to get the cartridge out, we're actually going to turn on the faucet so we lift up the cartridge like that, and then we'll lift off the faucet so this is exposed. Now take a pair of pliers and we're going to remove this retainer nut here. Squeeze, get a good grip and start counterclockwise to loosen that. And we'll set that to the side. Now we're going to slide out a copper clip. It's right in here in this slot. Just like that, loosen it and it will slide forward. There it is. Okay, now we're going to open up the cartridge packaging and take out the plastic cap twisting tool that's going to mount on here and allow us to rotate this to lift off the cartridge. We're going to push it down until the slot is lined up with the cartridge. And we're going to turn it clockwise to the right here, 90 degrees. Take this cap off. You should be able to grip and remove the old cartridge now that it's aligned this way. Now this may take a little bit of manipulation, a little bit of wiggling if it's stuck on there, but it's going to break free like this. You'll see a gap form and some water will probably spill out. But you just want to lift that right out like so, and then you can just dry off with a towel around the outside like that. Now we're going to install the replacement cartridge. We're going to put the two brackets, these are like kind of C-shaped plastic pieces, they're going to line up facing front to back like this. And then just push the cartridge into place. Get that all the way down like that. Once that's in place, we can slide in the copper bracket or clip that we removed from the front and because we lined up those brackets here on the top and front and back of the cartridge, this piece should slide right in around both of those. And you may need to just wiggle a little bit to get that aligned and push that all the way in. And if it's off centered a little bit, we have to rotate the cartridge just a little bit so that that goes in straight. If the clip is a little bent or you're not quite sure of your alignment, you can use a screwdriver just to hold it down in the back so that it comes underneath the outer piece here that's metal. And then you can get the clip lined up to be pushed all the way in like that. And it'll click in place because there's little tabs on the back that'll come around and grip the back side of the cartridge you just put in. Now, on the cartridge, you'll notice the front and the back are not exactly the same. You want to make sure that the small, tiny notch right here on the front of the cartridge is facing forward. If not, you can simply grab it with your pliers and turn it around. All right, now change the towel if you need to. 
we can screw on the retaining nut on the top after that clip is in, after that notch is facing forward. And get that secure. I'm gonna check it with the pliers here. Just a little bit, make sure that's snug. Put your faucet handle back on. If you have the arrangement like this old one, which I think they call the bottle cap style, you wanna make sure that that flat back piece of the faucet grips underneath this uppermost shelf, if you will, of the cartridge itself, because that's what's gonna allow it to pull this up and down. So I'm gonna put this on with the faucet pushed up to allow that clip to catch on there. So I'm just gonna push that over the back like so and just kind of feel for that so that you can feel if it's catching or not. And so here, if I kind of hold the neck and I lift up, it moves the cartridge up and down. So I know that it's catching. Reattach the screw that holds the cap down to the cartridge. Hold the handle and just kind of tighten that, just about hand tight like so. Check it again and it should move up and down and left and right very easily. You can put your cap back on, align the clips like so, and press down. And now we'll turn the water back on, uh, test the faucet, check for leaks. So there's no leaks. There's no leaks, nothing here on the back, nothing underneath. Um, that's good. Now, one thing to mention, final, if you find that when you put the cartridge in for some reason, your hot and cold are reversed, you can easily fix that. To fix it, you can just pop off your cap again, take the screw back out, lift off your handle, and then either through this or by removing the retaining nut, you want to rotate this cartridge 180 degrees. So if you're hot and cold or reversed, that means you had this small notch or shelf in the front facing backwards instead of facing forwards. And so you take a pair of needle nose pliers, rotate that 180 degrees so this back flat piece is in the front, put that back down, then reattach your handle Put your screw back in and then check. Make sure you have cold and hot on the correct sides. And then when you're done, you put your cap back on top and there you go. Much easier to operate. So that's replacing the cartridge on this old Moen faucet. Thanks very much for watching.